Hey guys, Chelsea here. Now in this video, I'm going to be looking at these things. LMGs. I love LMGs in this game. They are some of my all-time favourite weapons. And I'm going to be ranking the LMGs in Normandy from worst to best. Now, honestly, pretty much with almost all of these, these are pretty much all top-tier weapons. There's, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So really, you, you see, you, you'll see what I mean when I start the video up. Anyways, let us begin with what I think is the worst. And there's no surprise... What's coming at number... F There's no surprise what's coming at number 6. Let's just say that. Coming in as the dishonorable mention at number 6. You knew this was coming in at number 6. The Braider. I, I mean, what can I say about this thing? It is just awful. Like, it is... I, in my opinion, this is the second worst Axis weapon. And for the longest time, was the worst. The only thing that's beaten it is a really crap grenade launcher that costs... More than this, ironically. But yeah, I'm just. Uh, this is not a good time as well for the lag. But yeah, you know, fine from the hit. This is without the recall production perk. It's not that good. When you crouch, it's somewhat better. You can actually hit the target. But this is the funny thing. You have. Worth recoil while prone. I think this is the only weapon in the game where when you are prone and not mounting, you get worth recoil. This is the only thing that the weapon's actually useful for, right? Just when you have, like, like this, right? And you could say, yeah, this is useful. But you know what does this job even better? The MG34 and the MG42. And you can fire at them while from the hip or crouched. Or while, or prone. They've got better recoil, better magazines, same reload as well. This thing is just awful. It looks like crap. Easy contender for number six. Let's just move on to number five. Coming in at number five is the bread. Now, obviously, you can see why it's not any higher. Like, the, this, these sites are appalling. But other than that, it's actually a very solid LMG. Like, this thing is actually pretty good. I would say this is a 9 out of 10 weapon, which kind of shows how good the Bren is. That this is 9 out of 10. Now, the only reason it's not higher is just how much... Look how much this thing takes up on the sp on the screen. It's it's a bit jarring, but you can see how much it takes up. I hate this thing. But yeah, the... It, it takes up too much space, which is kind of a bit jarring, I get, and that's why people don't like it as much. But when you compare it to stuff like the Braider, and compare it to other LMG, it's still pretty solid. Yeah, it's, it's not the worst LMG in the game, but it's not the best. And it's, it's still a solid LMG, but it kind of shows how good the LMGs are, that this is second worst. And I would say this is still a 9 out of 10 weapon. Anyways, let's move on to number 4. Sticking to the theme of pretty good LMGs, at number 4 we've got the BAR A1. Now this is the A1 version, not the A2. I'll talk about the A2 a little bit later, but this thing is actually pretty good. As you can see, it's got good recoil. The only real problem it has is the magazines. Like, the magazine is a bit low, like like the Braider. It's got the same magazine as the Braider. But unlike the Braider, which takes, a, which takes about 4 seconds to reload, this takes 2, so it's about half the time. It's also pretty decent at defending points. The only real thing I don't like about this, I, the sights are a bit restrictive, but they're not too bad. They're not like, say, the Thompson sights. Like, this is the default Thompson sights, not not breathing in. And this is, of course, the sights this breathed in. So, yeah, it's, not, it's basically the same sights as the Thompson, but a little bit less restrictive. It's still pretty good. You can see, you can get off, quite a few rounds off on target. And yeah, it's just it's just a pretty good it's pretty good as an LMG. You know, I I mean pretty much it's it's a full auto and one grand because I mean it uses thirty auto. So. Yeah, full auto and one grand, very good. Nine out of, another nine out of ten weapon. Just I, it just does it. I just think it just has a few things which first off it has a semi auto which is pretty good as well, this is a pretty good semi also. But really it's more like it's more like a, a rifle, more like the FG more or less. Only a lot more fun to shoot than the FG. <laughs> than a than the a traditional machine gun like the Bren and the the Braider so far. 
and of course the MG34 and 42. But yeah, pretty solid weapon, comes in at number 4. Let's move on to number 3. Coming in at number 3, now this is going to be a big shock to everyone, it's the MG34. Now, I want to point this out. Other than the top spot, three, uh, number 3 and number 2 are really just depend... Uh, they're, they're, they're mild. The, the difference between these two are mild. You know what the other one is, if you've followed this channel for any time, but... This is actually a pretty good S LMG. Now, obviously, it's not that good when you from the hip. Like the Breda, actually. But what this has over the Breda is a good magazine to compensate for that. It's also pretty good while, you know, firing... Unlike the Breda, for example, which basically sends you straight to the moon when you're firing it from anywhere other than either throw or crap. This kind of doesn't do that like it does it the only way it does this is when you're standing and even then it's not as bad as the Breda. either way this is actually a pretty good and a solid number three obviously and let me just try and find the fire spot bingo yeah it's also just again you can see this that's another reason why it's better than the Breda, better than the the bar i'd say as well it's really good for defense the only thing it does lack is is offense which is shared with the number two as well but it's really good to, it's one of the best static defense weapons the only real gripe i have with it is the um is the range finder blocking a little bit of the sights but other than that that's not too bad like if the only gripe is is a small range finder then you know you've got a good weapon here this is a easily a 10 out of 10 weapon but yeah, I just have to put it kind of as a personal preference at number 3. Which kind of shows how good the LMGs are. That this, which I've said is a perfect weapon, is number 3. Anyways, with that being said, let's move on to number 2. Coming in at number 2 is the MG42. Now, basically, it's, this thing is like the Mossberg 500, um, what's it, Mossberg 500 or 590, whatever it is. Versus the Remington 870 debate. You know, which one's better th between this and the MG34. Really, I prefer this to the MG34, personally. But I still use the MG34 quite a bit. I've still got maxed MG34s on quite a few of my soldiers. This thing, it's fine. Like, it's, it's really good. And people bash on it saying, oh, it's bad. I'd argue that I prefer this to the to the 34. However, I would still say, you. I can understand why people prefer the 34 to this. Which is, I mean, it's why they're both number 3 and number 2. You really can't have one without the other. It It's just powerful, really. Like, both of them are powerful. But this thing, I mean, I'm missing the target there completely. Just as the lag hits. But I just enjoy this. It's so good. It's really fun to use. I enjoy it. Which is why, in my opinion, it's getting the number two spot. But, of course, you're going to have to go with number one. Which, of course, if, you, if you've if you been watching my channel for a while, you know exactly what that one will be. So, let's just go on to number one. Coming in at number one has to go to the A2. Look, I mean, just... Was there any content? The A2 is so good. Like... It's got better re it's literally an upgrade to the A1. It's a direct upgrade to the A1. In every way, this is better than the A1. It's got better sights for a start. You can see here the sights are a lot cleaner. It's got it's actually got better recoil, a better reload time, better everything. But there's also one major reason why, in my opinion, this beats all others, right? Now, with everything else, it was all locked onto really one one thing with the with the Bren, well, with everything other than the BAI one, you could only you could use them for offensive, but they were lacking in in def in yeah. You could use them in defensive positions, but they were really lacking in offensive due to not being good at close range. The A1 had the close range advantage, but this has both, and that is because of one thing. This. Low auto fire. I'm just going to use it. This is one of my favourite fire modes. I love using club auto. You can use it in defence positions. You can use it in offence. In the offence. You can use it in any situation. It 
it is actually really good. It Honestly, this is the thing about the A2 which most people overlook. It's actually really good on defense if you use the slow auto. If you don't use the slow auto, then yeah, it's not as good. But when you're using slow auto, it's actually just so good. I mean, look at this. That's it. That's also. And look at slow auto. Obviously, of course, I was pro I was braced. But even when I'm standing still, look at this. What weapon in the game can do that? Tell name a weapon in the game that can do something like that. That's an LMG. You, it is generally just amazing. There's a reason why I would say this is the only... This is a weapon that is comparable with the FG. I would say this is at, this is why I put it over the FG as well. I'd say this weapon is... makes it's, it's, it's even more powerful than the FG-42 in a vacuum. In a vacuum, it's more powerful than the FG-42, but the FG-42 is a more overpowered weapon because it can be used by a lot more. Anyways... That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave your thoughts on LMGs in the... Um, just really just what you think about different LMGs. And I'll see you guys in the next video.